Hello you chill dads really, just kicking back listening to the 1983 album Information by Dave Edmonds. Just a really chill Sunday for your dad. And this is Exile to Death. I didn't even say who I am, I was just too busy painting my picture of a chill dad listening to Dave Edmonds. I'm Jim Sterling and this is Exile to Death. This is an MMO, a massively online multiplayer, massive online multiplayer game. And apparently people were anticipating it because I looked at some of the reviews. They've got a lot of red thumbs near those reviews. I don't know what that means, but a lot of red thumbs down. They're pointing down. I think they're just telling you to keep scrolling down to read more reviews. But people were disappointed. They expected more from this. Um, I've not heard of Exile to Death, but I'm willing to give it a go. Now, for a massively online multiplayer, online massive experience, it doesn't look like many people are playing. In fact, it looks like I'm the only one here, which means I'm gonna get all the best loot first. So let's get into it. Find math. Titrus? Oh God, oh God, it's that time of year, isn't it? It's, it's only when I've been trying to talk and record that I realise the fucking hay fever season's starting because I'm allergic to everything. Oh, every time I try and talk for too long an extended period of time, I feel like everything's being... I feel like someone's trying... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, enough of this fucking nonsense. Let's get... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Why is it running like that now? Why is that... Ha What's this? Just lump of... It looks like a bit of a rock lord. I don't know if you remember the rock lords. Uh, I used to have some rock lords toys. I had one that turned into a dragon. I had a grey one with a, like, blue on his head. So, it was a spin-off of GoBots. I don't know if you recall that one. Which was a rip-off of... Oh, no, did it actually come first and got dicked over because Transformers got more popular? Either way, it was the shit Transformers. I can't remember whether it came first or last. The thing it had going for it was twofold, both of them about the same character, Psykill, who was the main villain and he turned into a bike, so Psykill. Point one, great name. Point two, he always reminded me a bit of Christopher Lee. I don't know why. He doesn't really look like Christopher Lee. Um, oh, third point. Awesome five o'clock shadow on a robot. So this is unbearable anyway. It keeps stuttering and, and skipping and just all around janking out. But we see a, look at that, a fucking, was it, wind turbine? Them ones you see across the motorway in Britain. Uh, okay, yeah, look, there's another one. Oh, probably gathering, gathering all sorts of fun energy for us to pick up. So, f oh my god, I think it's getting worse. It might be struggling with all of the top-notch animation going on with the fans. So it's it's making things harder to run, which is to be expected. This is obviously a very taxing game. I mean, look at these textures. Big old mushroom there. All right, I'm going to try and jump over the fence. And then we'll scale the turbine and maybe hook ourselves to one of the fans so it spins around and flings us through the sky and we can get a good bird's eye view of the content within this game. I think that's a capital idea and will likely work. So I've had to go into the options to map a button to run. I mean, none of the buttons seem to be mapped. Uh, we'll do E for action, that's always pretty typical. Light, uh, what we got, F, press F to pay light, signal, I don't fucking know. And now, now we can run to look for, hello, look at these lovely busters. Okay, I see a bit of what might be a burnt out building attempting to render itself. So let's head over there, ignoring all of the skipping, if I start jumping, then we can say it's a fi- oh. I was going to make a joke about a skip and a jump, but, uh, but we won't be doing that again. Right. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't, it wasn't half coming into view. It just looked like this. Oh, well, maybe there's stuff inside. Stuff oh. We're inside. We're literally in the building. So, we're part of the foundations. 
Yeah. Oh. Look at that unfortunate dinkle. Anyway. YouTube will probably demonetize me for that dinkle. Um, while probably trying to run some homophobic commercials on this video, because that's what they do now. Uh, apparently those were the classy advertisers that YouTube was trying to appeal to by, you know, telling people they can't say fuck or bugger on their YouTube videos. So well done, YouTube, ye fucking idiots. Well, I've looked up again, and oh, we've come to some sort of castle wall, or maybe just a rock face. It's, just, it's very flat at the top, so whatever it is, it's been smoothed to a nice level surface. And I know what you're all thinking, this is probably the end of the world that we've gotten to already. But we'll hold out hope. Maybe it's like the wall in uh, Game of Thrones. We just got to scale it, and over the top, there will be people and buildings and activities and stuff going on. At least we're on the on the ground of it. We, we didn't just go through it. Oh wait, yeah, there's an invisible wall in front of the real wall. We can't we can't go any further. Oh well. But I've been saving the best for last, folks. Where's that biodome? I'm sure you saw it in the background here and there. What in the fuck now? So we got dome over there. You can just see it over the rock face. We've got a ghost building made out of ectoplasm. And we've got a blinking light. And I'm going to assume that that... That, more than anything else, is where the content lies. Because, why would it be flashing? Why would it be flashing? Huh? Try and answer that and stay fashionable. You can't. Yes, I was right! Stuff! So fuck knows what's going on with ghost building. I looked in a first aid box, and it said it had a mace inside, but I look on my inventory screen, my menu here, and- Oh! Oh, the mace is here. Okay. Could have sworn it wasn't a moment ago, but now we have a mace. So, why do I keep pressing escape instead of I, for fuck's sake? Right, now how do I... How do I... I mean, I've got the flashlight equipped in slot one, and, it, and I, I mapped it to F. Press F to pay light, and it's not. None of it's working. None of it's fucking working. I might have to go into the options menu and, and see what I need to map to where because as you can see, even though the inventory button works and the movement buttons work, you go on input, ain't mapped, it's not listed as mapped, only really the stuff I mapped is showing up, so fuck knows. Well, I didn't work out how to equip the mace because this game is a puzzle game. Uh, a puzzle game about keyboard layouts, but I did press V and now we've got this handsome shot of this bloke So that's good, and we're finally at the biodome. Here we go and We can't go through that So that's a waste of fucking time Brilliant fortunately though there is yet more stuff Yonder so we're gonna go yonder and see what the more oh box. We got dog food. We got a can. We got a wood log. We got an XP up. A grib. How do you earn XP in a game with no content? There's a question for the ages. Take all. I guess our inventory is full. No. Or did it just forget? No, there's still stuff in there that we we can't. Am I, am I doing something wrong? Oh yeah, if you think that right-clicking to use the mace would work, it, it doesn't. Uh, it might work for the flashlight, I didn't try that. It doesn't. You can eat though, here's tuna.
that's somebody who just recorded themselves eating a biscuit to put in their game, and it sounded horrible. I don't want to listen to that again with headphones on. You could hear every wet smack. So I'm not going to do that ever again. And hopefully the character will just starve and then we will stop. So anyway, here we are. It's a future thing. That's the only way I could describe this. We're inside a future thing. And now we're out of the future thing and we took damage. Because this game is just a big fuck you to anybody who cares about playing games and having fun and anything, really. If you care about anything, if you believe in anything, this game is here to say, hey, hey, fuck you. So what's this now? Everything's gone a bit shit. I think this is attempted film grain, attempted noise in that regard. You know how, like, Silent Hill sometimes put that filter on, or there are dozens of filters like it on uh, on video editing software and stuff like that. But maybe it's maybe it's to represent. Why did the tuna make biscuit noises anyway? 